Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank. Today I want to play some more Inscription in Casey's Mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started. Um, I'd like to try out this new deck that has a raccoon and dire wolf puppy and a Cody. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we gotta get 80 points. So, um, wow. And apparently our challenge is locked again. So, let's see. I think I just had all these things on last time. And that got us to 70, and we need 10 more points. So, I wonder if doing one candle would make more sense. Um, hmm. Let's see, or even tip scales. That could give us back a little bit of a refund. So we could have items and pelts that are cheap. Um, let's see, what else could we do? This is worth 20. So we could put on more difficult, but I really don't like more difficult. So I think we'll stick with what we have here and see what we have. Tip scales is always a tough one though. So we're gonna have to build up quickly. Scavenger, all card bearing sigils on the board. Opposing creatures also provide bones when perishing. Okay. That sounds like an interesting twist here. So let's see how that goes. All right, well, I guess bone related creatures. So maybe getting a canine would be smart and maybe a rattler. So we'll do bone and canine creatures, I guess. Okay, a sigil swap. Um, I don't think it makes sense. Let's do a power up instead. Maybe we can get the raccoon going strong so that he can kill multiple things. Um, so this says all on the board, so I guess that, that can be relevant for anywhere on the board. It doesn't necessarily have to do the killing itself. We just have a mega raccoon that goes roaming through the countryside wrecking everybody. Um, okay, I guess we'll send the raccoon out after the uh, worker ant here. Okay, let's see, I think we can play yet. Okay, still nothing. Uh-oh, now we've got some strong ants going on here. This isn't good. Um, we can't get a wolf on the board though, so that's gonna work out pretty nicely, I think. Here we go. And almost enough to get the coyote, but not quite enough. Fortunately, we didn't get to see the raccoon's power exhibited yet. All right. Well, I guess, let's see. Cody can be put out here to uh, take out one of the worker ants. I think that'll give us just enough to survive. Good. Hopefully we can get something that boosts all of our canines. Um, I don't need to do a sigil swap. We could do a power up. I think I'd rather head to the wood carver so that we can maximize our chances of getting something um, that boosts canines. We'll go with the millworm too. Ooh, stinky would be nice. Let's get it. Neither of those heads went to canines anyway, so let's just do stinky. A bunch of stinky dogs could be pretty sweet. Alright. Well, raccoon isn't going to take out either of those, so we could put it on the board in front of one of the kingfishers. They're going to be moving around anyways, so I don't think it'll matter much, but we'll go ahead and get them on the board. Oh, and a river otter is incoming. That's not good. Better draw from this pile. Ah, a millworm. 
I don't think we're gonna have enough to survive all this. They're gonna do three damage and we're not gonna be able to deploy anything else. Um, could pull a tooth, but even that I think is still a break even situation. We could put squirrel in front of the river otter um, and fortunately that would be a bit of a waste, but I think we're just gonna have to do something like that to block some of the damage and have a chance here. Okay. Dire wolf pup. We can get it on the board. Here we go. Now we'll have a chance, I think. Alright, now the dire wolf pup should grow up. Excellent. And this should turn things around for us. Might be able to get one more card on the board, but I don't think so since I've just got bone consumers. We're not going to be able to generate enough in time. Um, I mean, we could get the wolf down. Good. Another raccoon. Hmm. I guess we could do it. Maybe we'll have a fungi event soon and we can combine the raccoons for greater power. Alright, let's power this one up. There we go. This thing is approaching as strong as a uh, wolf. Just one more power and it will uh, have surpassed a wolf even. All right, flying it. Let's see. Put the raccoon one slot over. All right, come on over, flying it. We'll take you out in the next turn. <laughs> Get your paws off my creature's bones. <laughs> uh oh, looks like they're gonna rush us with um. Bunch of ants, so need to get us, um, I guess, a dire wolf pup on the board. There we go. Nice. Okay, I don't have enough teeth to go make a trade, so we're going to go this way instead. Mm, no canines. Let's see. I guess let's get a mud turtle. Maybe we'll use its sigil on one of the raccoons just to have a really silly raccoon. I don't know what sigil it counts for either. Um, curious about that now. I don't think I have... Well, I do have one insect. Um... I do have two amphibians too. Let's go with the insect head though. Just a start. I don't think that the bird one applies at all, so this is at least something we can use. Okay. Um Yeah, I feel like the mud turtle on the raccoon would make it kind of overpowered, which would be nice. And let's see, the dire wolf. Or putting it on the direwolf pup so it's like guaranteed to survive. That might be a better idea. In fact, I think I'll. Well, I'll save something that uses dams on the direwolf pup. And I'll put this on. Um, well, the rattler is really tempting since it has lower health. We'll do that. That'll give the rattler some actual chance of surviving. Six bone is a lot to get it on the board, but we'll go with it. Ah, Kingfisher, it's going to be moving around. Sounds like a good idea that we could get a raccoon on board. Um, we could also get Direwolf up. 
it would be nice, but kind of hate to see uh, us run into a problem with um, the uh, bait buckets that are going to come out soon. Okay. So we need to put something down. I think it will put our squirrel over here. Fortunately, it's going to move out of the way, though, I think. Oh, no, I guess moves happen after. Okay, good. Got a little bit worried there for a moment. All right, Cody, I believe it's your turn. Good. Okay, and let's see. We will... Let's see, who should we let them pull over? Um, I guess we'll do another squirrel sending it up that lane okay oh that's going to get us three bait buckets um that's okay because we can sacrifice things and put them in the other rows um so it's not trigger anything bad um i guess a dire wolf pup makes the most sense over off to the side so let's see It is letting a lot of damage off the board though. If I could just get one more damage on the board, we could win. Um, yeah, actually I could do this and that would be three, four, five right there. That's enough to win. So let's just let it happen, I guess. Oh, duh. Oh man, that was a silly silly move. I don't know why I <laughs> let that happen. In my mind, I was thinking they were airborne. Wow. I don't know where my head at was on that one. Um, let's see. Could get the millworm. Let's see. We can do that. We don't have enough to play. That'll get us um, four total and it might actually win. Okay, good. Man, that was a weird choice, but um, I need to pause here in just a minute, so let me take a quick moment and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see now. Um, a wolf, a cockroach, and corpse maggots. 
Um, let's see, is anything worth doing, say, auto-deploy or unkillable? I think I'll take the cockroach, because putting unkillable on something might be pretty sweet, actually. Okay. Either way, we're going to get some items, so let's see if we can get maybe another canine on our team. Yep. And a wolf cub. Cool. Okay. Alright. And I guess let's do squirrel. Okay, well I have, I think, stinky insects, so get ready for that, y'all. Um, pronghorn, that is waterborne, that's not good. And a mole. Um, too bad we can't take that guy out. So, raccoon, we're gonna have to kind of hope it, it'll do some of the heavy lifting here, I think. Let's see what we get. Ah, uh, and the elk fawn is incoming now. That's never good. Um, yeah, so let's draw from here. We get a wolf cub, and we should have enough time, I think, if we put it here, that it should survive. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. Now we have enough, we can get the millworm on the board. Um, it'll be stinky, so that will actually prevent the pronghorn from doing damage, so that's good. Ooh, an alpha really threw things off for us. Um, maybe I should have used our fan a moment ago. Alright, dire wolf pup, we could sacrifice it, and it would. Um, the millworm, and that would give us enough to uh, survive any of these guys, including the stoat. Um, so I think we need to take out the stoat right now. The pronghorn's going to do some damage. And that would be three damage on the board, or raccoon can't take out the alpha. So that's good. Um, I guess we'll just let it go. Okay, they're just about there to being able to turn the tides, but I think I want to do enough damage um, with this hand that we should be okay. Okay. Not quite enough, but we should be able to knock out the elk here um, in the next move. Okay, good. And we have the rattler. We're going to go ahead and play our other guys too, just for uh, max teeth removal. Alright, good. We're getting close to having enough to go trade in teeth, so let's see if we have enough. Uh, I'm not sure that's enough yet. I have full items, so I could get a pack rat if I went this way, or I could do a sigil swap, and I think that that might be the better move, so let's do that. Head off to the left. Oh, cat. We'll take cat. Okay, let's see, I think putting the cat sigil on something worth sacrificing over and over, um, what would we want unkillable on? Perhaps our high-end raccoon, maybe? That would be nice. Or our mealworm. Can we make a loop of some sort? That'd be interesting to use it over and over and getting those stats boost. I'm gonna do that. A little bit strange, but maybe that could be a way I can keep boosting certain cards up and up if I have a big bone supply. Um, which means I should try to increase the damage that the um, millworm does, because if I could get that, then I could theoretically boost the card up crazy high. Raven and a Sparrow incoming. And they have Wriggling Tail. That's a nigh impossible thing to fend off here. Um, 
think we may have to use card cutting if we're going to have a chance of beating them. Okay. Um, let's do this card. And we will go ahead and cut. Oh no. They're deploying quite a few forces now. We don't have really enough to uh, recover, I think. This is possibly going to be a loss anyways. Rough, rough. Alright, we can get... Let's see... One of the sparrows beaten. Um, that may be enough to make it on. Um, I could use the fan and that would get us past, but I kind of hate to waste it. I believe we'll be able to win anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah, we should be good here. Okay. Raccoon. Let's see, it's our weaker one, so we don't want to use it. Okay. Let's see. Could deploy out. I still don't have enough though. I was gonna say we could deploy this guy out and he'll survive the sparrow and make some way. There we go. And another raccoon. No, we should have enough bone. Hey, there's our millworm. It's unkillable. So, um, yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, and if I could sacrifice something else, I would be able to get it again. But that power is going to be nice. I think we could just keep, like, ramping up um, our power on other cards if we had more that we could deploy in the moment. Nice. Ooh, yeah, fungi events coming up. Ooh, a beaver. Good. That's what we need. If we can get its ability on the uh, dire cub, I think that, or dire wolf cub, pup, rather, that would be amazing. Hey, it looks like a three and four raccoon now. Good. Now we've gone well past, um, a wolf's base power. This is an interesting run. I actually kind of am enjoying this deck that I might give it a few more tries beyond um, our uh, instead of using insects. All right, so could get cat down, but it's not going to matter. I can only sacrifice once for the wolf, so I basically have nothing I can do here, and I'm going to take two damage looks like but I mean I guess I could get the cat started and you know don't have enough otherwise so we're just gonna have to take our first hit we should be able to get our um, wolf started with our next card okay um, there we go and that will obliterate that column or at least that pronghorn A wolf will die on the porcupine, but it should transmit uh, damage over to the alpha. Oh, good. So, fortunately, don't have anything to play on it. Um, could instead. Well, let's see. I think I kind of have to do it because if the alpha comes down and does one damage, what will that do to me? Um, that plus a mole would beat me. So, I can get the millworm on the board, and that would make the mole not able to attack when its turn comes. Um, I'm going to lose the wolf, so I really don't think I can win this. Um, let me think. I don't have enough teeth now, but 
I would be able to sacrifice two cards um, from the next hand. So let's do... I guess we'll let the uh, alpha come down. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now I should be able to draw from here and get something. All right, our strong raccoon, good. Um, we'll just do this for now. So we don't want that um, mold to get active. Okay. And a dire wolf pup. Um, let's see. Well, it wouldn't survive the stoat, unfortunately. The raccoon can do enough damage, though, as to be... Well, actually, I could sacrifice. No, I need a second sacrifice. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to lose it. I should have done the fan like I originally had thought. That would have stopped the mole from moving. I just totally uh, blanked out there. Oh, well. Let's, uh, I guess, go get some items. We'll take the raven egg, why not? Yeah, a boulder. And we'll do bones this time since we have a few things that could use it, like the rattler. Alright, who are we gonna get some health? Um Let's do our millworm. Since we can sacrifice it over and over now, we'll be able to give our um, other cards four health every time. So if I can just get a plus one attack power, that would just be amazing. Like, sacrifice that over and over. If I hadn't have just lost my smoke, I could have had a really easy street set up right here. Ah, oh, the coyote is waterborne. That's so, so hard. Um, I guess we could put a boulder down. And cat could go here, but I kind of hate to block the pack mule. Um, so let's see what we get in the next hand, I guess. Wolf cub. Good. So now I could get cat down and wolf cub could get started in front of the pack mule. Not the safest place to put it, but oh well. Could get enough bone here in a minute too to also uh, get, I guess, coyote started since I have a bone jar over here. I just kind of don't want to get too many of them going with our uh, soon-to-be situation of Prospector using his pickaxe on all of our cards. Okay, let's see. Ah, beaver, alright. So, Raven Egg would die to the coyote, unfortunately. Um, I could get the coyote on the board and. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how else could we do this. If I got the rattler down and then use that, we could get to the next phase. Uh, I'd hate to lose all my cards just for that. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna have to though. Oh, I meant to use that in another order, but oh well. I guess it still works. Um. Plus. Let's see, I think we're at minus one, so we're going to have to use Rattler and have a chance. Okay. Alright. Not the way I wanted to do it, but kind of had to happen. Hopefully we'll still have a chance to get our uh, pack mule soon. Now we got to deal with a wolf. Uh, let's see. It's looking pretty uncertain now. Um, 
Hmm. Guess let's do this and could play the Raven Egg or the Coyote. Could get this two in. Only cost bone, which is good. Um, Mole's not going to move. And Pack Mule is also not going to move because of the Coyote being there. I think we're just in a bad spot now. I don't think I'll be able to dig myself out. Um, let's just see what happens, I guess. We're going to lose both of those cards, though. I think it's just going to kind of resource exhaust us now. Waterborne is just such a frustrating card. I wish there was something we could do to take them out, but I don't think that there is a card that can handle that situation, unfortunately. Um, you're just gone, and that's it. I got very lucky with that. I probably did maybe two things that could have been better in that match, but it's just so hard to tell what's going to happen when you can't see what card's going to be played next, you know? Alright. Dare I take a Rattler and get a 6-2 Rattler? I think I do. It'd be ridiculous, but if I could get it played, it would be amazing. Oh good, I see a sigil swap to the left. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess let's go with the raven. We can go with our raven egg. And if I did a sigil swap, I would want to do... I guess... the beaver's stuff on the dire wolf pup. It'd probably make the most sense as far as just a sheer terrifying combination of things. Okay. Here we go. Oh, another stinky. That's not good. And we have a frozen possum in the way. And a wild bull, it's stinky. Goodness. Um, I pretty much immediately don't feel like there's any way out of this. <laughs> They're going to do four damage on their first turn. And uh, really, I can't even like really play a card that's going to do anything. So I think that's going to be it. I mean... I can play the raven egg here and, you know, hang out. So that'll take off one damage. Um, that's it. Okay. Now the raven will recover two of our health. So maybe this isn't as horrible as I was thinking. It's off of my head, but... Still, I don't think we're going to be able to turn this around with that wild bull running around. Alright. Um, let's see. Okay, get Cat down. i be able to do anything with it. I don't think so. Um, I could use a squirrel to sacrifice it to the wild bull and overall come out plus one the damage um but yeah that's not super great or anything um could get this raven moved over or on the board by sacrificing it over um another let's see the one that only has Two, we could put it like over here, but they would do four damage on that turn and take me down next to zero. Um, but I might be able to afford the coyote after that, so I don't know, this doesn't feel super sound, but we'll put it over there and then I'll give it at least two turns for the bull comes and kills it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Bull is just too big of a problem. Okay, um, 
Coyote can, can almost kill it, but I mean, heck, I could take out most of its health, but it would get killed right away, and the porcupine, if we get rid of it, we're going to have a stinky elk come down with even more HP than the wild bull. Um, so that's not good. I don't think any of this is really uh, totally working out in our favor here, so let's just try to hit them a little bit before we die, I guess. <laughs> Such a hard situation to be in. Alright, dire wolf pup. Fortunately, I think it's too late for it. But let's see what happens. No one's taking out our frozen possum because of the rabbit hanging out over there, fortunately. Um we had to wait till the wild bull gets all the way over there. I guess technically we can come close to it to see what happens. See if we could have it survive until it bursts that bu bubble, we could sacrifice it for a dire wolf pup in the next turn. But I think that they're going to get too much damage on us, so it's not going to happen. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to be just a little short, I think. Nope, maybe not. We have just enough to get it on the board for some fun. Um, could get it to lay dams and all, but how much damage are we lacking here? Oh, we can't back up and see what was on the scale, so if I lay it here, it's definitely going to die, but the dams it lays are going to be able to attack. So um, in the next turn, you know, they might be useful. Um, if I laid it here, it's still gonna die. I'm just trying to think of what the dams would do. Maybe here has a chance. Okay, dire wolf pup is still gonna die, but yeah, we knew that was coming. Okay, now the dams will start doing their thing. And, um, yeah, this rattler could go out on the board. Um, We'd have to put it in front of the porcupine to have a chance of surviving, but it's not going to work. The elk's going to come down anyways. Ruin our day. <laughs> oh man, it was a good fight at least. At least I got to try out the uh, dire wolf pup with the dam building. Maybe on the next round it'll work. Alright, cave event and a sacrifice or a trade-in. Um, with a sigil swap. Let's see. Maybe putting the cat's ability on the raven egg would be good since that would give it um, some more utility and last longer on the board. Alright, let's see. We'll take the wolf pelt. Why not? Not going to get super fancy cards this game. I think that it's going to be a little too low scoring, but we'll keep going. Not super confident in being able to win this one because everything just feels kind of uh, out of place, but that's how it goes. Um, we could put a cat on our raccoon since it has some survivability. I think that with it having 4 HP, that's pretty good. Okay, hey, we got our nice raccoon ready. Um, so we could take out the elk fawns right away, but I feel like the raven egg may be more dangerous. So maybe we will park a pelt in front of it instead. And there we go. Alright, um, let's go ahead and get this, and we should be able to get the raven down um, thanks to the sacrifice ability. There we go. Oh, I think this might be too much damage on the board already. We're not going to get stuff on board in time, I think. Huh? Maybe. Let's see. Coyote should block the damage from the elk at least. Oh, another stinky card coming in. It's too many. 
Um, wolf pelt, black or elk. Got lucky there. Jeez, they are just rushing me with cards. Would you believe that? My goodness. Guess let's do one more run real quick since that one was so rough and I made weird mistakes. So let's give it one more try. It's so hard though, like starting with uh, damage already on the board too. So I'm not holding myself uh, to too high of a standard because this is a tough, tough challenge. All right. Let's see. Having fecundity. Um, not sure how much I want that. The others, though. Let's see. Um, hmm. A great white that grows stronger, but you don't really have to care about it since it, you know, like nothing really kills waterborne. Um, I really don't like think any of these cards. Um, I guess Field Mice we'll start with, and, um, since we're going to be generating bone, well, I guess let's just get the possum. And if we get something better, maybe we can sacrifice it. Alright, let's just go ahead and head over to this and see what kind of things we can pick up. Hmm. Why not? We'll go with that. Maybe we'll end up having like a high powered card and we'll use that tasty morsel ability on something that will keep us generating a lot of power on the board. Okay, the coyote is going to run in front of whatever um, gets its attention. So maybe let's get our dire wolf pup out right away. Okay, and we can put a possum on the board too. Possum should be able to take out the coyote, and that way the dire wolf pup is left alone. Or we could put the raccoon in front of it, have it done that way too. Okay. Alright, field mice. Sweet. Let's see. Um, let's head up to the middle one. We'll get us a mystery card. All right, beaver it is. We definitely want the uh, dam builder. I might actually take it. Uh, let's see, what could we do? The direwolf pup. You know, it does have that double strike. Um, so, what could we do here? I think putting the beaver's ability on the dire wolf pup still makes the most sense. Um, and if I did plus one, it's effectively a plus two on its ability. So, in kind of the same way with the field mice, that I'd be able to play them again, you know. I like the idea of a really strong raccoon out there, though. Let's go with the dire wolf pup. We'll just throw caution to the wind, and once it gets up to its top stats, maybe it'll be hard to stop. I do see a sigil swap up ahead. Might head down that road. All right, pronghorn that is airborne. That's an interesting take. Um, Let's go ahead and pull a tooth, and we could put our raccoon down. Hmm. Wish we could have the beaver, but maybe we should save up for that. Even though the dams won't stop its airborneness, um, we could at least. Well, actually, that might get me in trouble now that I think about it. Um, because I won't be able to play something on top of it, so maybe I should get the raccoon down because it's going to be able to do damage at least. Okay. Oh, there's an elk fawn. That's where the um, 
dams could have helped. Let's see. Guess we better get the beaver down anyways. Just want to get as much damage on the board as we can. And put possum as well. This should pull us back out ahead a little bit, I think. I don't think that the elk fawn will be able to fully deploy for a little bit anyways. There we go. Now I can get my dire wolf pup into play. Surprised he hasn't uh, surrendered yet. It looks obvious that he doesn't have any cards left. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Central swap with the beaver. Um, going on the direwolf pup seems like the way to go. Oh, bloodhound. Nice. All right, beaver. I'm leaving it to you. All right, waterborne canines. Ugh. Won't be able to get rid of the coyote. That's not good. I'm starting to think I need to get the cuckoo for these sigil fights because some of these are just awful for things like that. Alright, raccoon is feeling like you're the one, but it's just not enough power on the board at once. I wish we could get our dire wolf pup going, but should be able to take the next turn. Okay. There we go. Only the dam on the right will survive, unfortunately. Okay. I think we might have enough to turn it around now, because we're going to get seven damage on this one turn. There we go. No excess, but, you know, having that beefed up dire wolf was just enough of an edge to help us pull out ahead. Ooh, an alpha. Good. Hopefully with our raccoon we'll generate bone quickly. Okay, here we go. Don't think you have to think twice if there's scissors. They're so useful. Hmm, not sure what I want to sacrifice here. That's gonna be a tougher decision. Um but putting alpha on the raccoon sounds kind of nice. Now that I think about it. Um could there be our opportunities here? Yeah. Let's just do Alpha on the Raccoon. Or Field Mice that are Alpha. That's kind of interesting too. Hmm. I guess let's do Field Mice. They do have more attack power and more HP than the raccoon so costs a little bit more but that's all right all right let's see if we can do a little bit better this time um could get the direwolf pup down right away and blocking out some of the path Let's see. We'll do that and we'll go after our um, guy over here. There we go. And yeah. We'll lose the dam to the coyote, but that's okay because the pack mule is going to die on one turn to the um, dire wolf. Okay. And our raccoon can deploy against the. Cody, and we should collect some more bone because of this. Nice. Wow, we have enough to play a turkey vulture already. 
just going to draw cards like for a hand because we're going to blast right past and we're going to lose them, but we do have the Turkey Vulture that should be able to play right away. Alright, Turkey Vulture time. Alright, let's see, that one's got Mighty Leap on it, so thinking about sending out the possum on the adder. Better yet, a coyote. That bloodhound won't be able to go two places at once. <laughs> nice. Didn't have to use any items either. Nice. Let's see. Do we want another alpha? I don't know. It kind of throws off the balance of things. Kind of need a one bone thing, but we'll take this bull until we can get something that's one bone. Or one blood, I should say. We've only got the raccoon so far. Alright. Getting a pack rat sounds kind of nice. And there is a cave event this way, so let's go that way. All right, sigils might be the win of the day here. We've only got two cards that don't have one, and several that have two, so let's do it. Hey, got it right away. Oh, a great white that has bees within. Too bad it's uh, not going to be applicable at all, because it's not going to get hit. Magpie that generates bones and has Mighty Leap, or a Moose Buck that has bees within. Yeah, that seems like an obvious answer. Okay. Pack Rat. Nice. Okay. So we have a skink and a flying ant. And let's see. A moose buck. Boy, it'd be nice if we could get that on the board in the first turn. Um, I think our raccoon is who we're going to have to rely on, though, for a start. So let's put it over here so that the flying ant will move over to it. And um, could put the boulder down, but. I think it may be a waste at this moment. Okay. And let's draw a card. I guess using the boulder in front of the skink may in fact make sense. Okay. And uh, let's see, another flying ant is incoming, so it's going to do a lot of damage, like plus two. Um, the. Other things can't really be deployed though, so let's just see. I could cut this card, but I don't know if that really improves our situation much. Because the other flying ant's going to come in and do one, and the skink is going to take out the raccoon. Um, however, if I kill the raccoon, or the flying ant now, I guess it's going to be the same situation. Um, just the difference will be the number of teeth, so just let it proceed, I suppose. Okay. Alright, Dire Wolf Pup. Not enough to get it on the board. Um, that flying ant incoming is going to be a problem, so I could cut one of the flying ants. Um, that's not enough to do anything, and I can't get that on the board either. So I think I've, I think I've already lost because I've only got two damage left, and cutting that one I could block one with the squirrel, but it's just not an ideal situation. Because I mean, the next hand I'd have. You know, like nothing to draw. I mean, even if I drew something, like I'd 
have to be something that takes like three bone or something. I don't think I have that. Um, well, I guess let's do this. We'll just experiment here. And uh, yeah, we'll lose our squirrel and that'll give us, I think, another bone that we can use to deploy our coyote. So at least it's something. Okay. And we'll do this. And now we have enough that we can get our coyote down. So we'll put it over here. And yeah, that's it for now. We'll just be exchanging blows here for a moment. All right. I kind of need to get rid of that other guy. Wild bull that can do three damage. Um, Coyote does too. Um, that flying ant's gonna come in and do extra damage, so I think getting rid of this other flying ant might make sense. I could pull it off with getting the skink to move over, and that would get plus one on the board. Um, and so I would die if I put a wild bull down. It would be two, four, five damage either way. So I don't, I don't see at least not immediately a way out of this. Um, the dams won't block either. Hmm. It's too bad I couldn't get the moose back down in time. Let's see. Um, do this, flying it will come in, doing one, this other one, actually, this will advance and then they'll do four total, so there's this, yeah, there's no coming out of this one, so might as well just play our dire wolf pup for funsies, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, just kind of roll with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be any way out of that. That's okay. Alright, fun guy event. Um, I think we literally don't have any duplicates. So, could go to power up or making a duplicate. Could have us another dire wolf pup that has all those sigils on it. We have a few teeth. Um, and our, as far as our powering up something goes, we could put more power on just about anything. So what would be our plan there? Um, I guess the dire wolf pup, once again, we could pin our hopes and dreams on drawing it. Get it to be undying or get something else to be undying. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, there we go. So, who would we want to put this on? Um, well, field mice would be interesting too, because having it be alpha would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's put it on the direwolf pup. That way, when it's full-grown adult, it has some longevity. So, if I could get it deployed, it would be. I think pretty much game over guaranteed most of the time as long as we don't have a major airborne problem but who knows man I could lose this match outright just due to weird combos I mean look they've already got sharp quills on bees on bees who does that um ooh definitely need to make use of that pack rat sometime this round All right, dire wolf pup. Make it. We need you. The time is dire. Okay, and 
we'll need that damage, so we're gonna go like that for now. They're gonna grow up and be strong enough to take on the bee swarm. Okay. There we go. It's feeling good. Nice. We're generating bone as we go too, so that's awesome. Now we have us a nice bee that we can play. We'll play our Cody. Nice. Well, that'll pay off for uh, when we get a trade in. It'll actually make it worth it now. So I'm going to think that we might not have enough to get a golden pelt, but I think we're ahead of where we were last time, roughly. Okay. Um, I guess I will save up instead of getting a rabbit pelt. We'll try to get a wolf pelt next time. Okay, I don't think I have any items. And buffing something might be a little bit of a risk versus getting items, but there is a wood carver over there, and I don't think I've completed mine yet, so maybe I should head to the left. Actually, there's a cave event too, so I see less of a need to do a sigil swap. All right, um, our field mice could use that so they could play the role of alpha longer. I think that's making the best sense, so let's do it. I'm always afraid to do it the second time, so we'll pull away. I need to just get ringworm and uh, use it up, but I've seen it happen, you know, a time or two where I just get way too strong. All right, we could take out that flying ant, and that skink is going to be stopped by the stump for a while, so we'll do that. Ah, uh, more flying ants. Ah, dang it, the stinky. Ah, should have been paying attention. Probably screwed now. Alright, field mice. Um, yeah, I'm probably just screwed now. <laughs> wow. Wow, how sad. <laughs> Man. I want to give the raccoon deck, I think, one more turn, because I feel like... My first hand, my first run was actually pretty good. I just made some poor decisions that I could have turned around if I'd just been paying more attention. And just now, like, I was not paying attention to the sigil situation at all. And that cost me big time. So we'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank. I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.